So student, uh, in this module, I will briefly share with you the schemas for uh, two important online systems. One is the online advertisement and the other is online reservation system. So let's look into the more details. So what is online advertisement? So first of all, what is advertisement? Advertisement can be regarded as the process of enticing you, enticing me into doing things, uh, uh, into subscribing to certain services, enticing to buy certain products or do some certain actions. So that is advertising. When we talk of online advertisement, it means that the advertisement which uses the internet which uses the world wide web which uses the search engine optimization and we will have quite a few module towards the end of this course which discuss search engine optimization and what is online reservation online uh, air reservation systems are the systems which uh, interact with the passengers which help the passengers uh, make the reservations buy the tickets which are linked with the database of the airlines, which look at the legs. Uh, legs means that how the transfer is going to be made, which flights are connected to which flights and so on. A lot has happened over the years with reference to the airline reservation systems. So in this module, we will only briefly look at the, the, the database schemas for each of them. So let's go and move ahead. So online advertisement or online advertising Early years, first online advertising was initiated when certain companies with 14 advertisers started. That was in 1994. After this initiation, we saw the emergence and public acceptance of the web as an interactive medium for growth. After 1994, there was quickly followed by a period of research on advertisers and publishers, ad formats, and of course, billions were spent later billions okay the so current scenario is online advertisement has been constantly rising since since more than a decade okay with the number of hours and internet users spends browsing websites advertisers have realized okay people are spending hours so when they are spending hours to so advertise okay get their attention get their attention okay and from search engine optimization to blogs and social media to stylish ads, interactive tools and branding technologies, advertisers are now using a variety of tools and these are no longer effective. There are social media, there are stylish ads, there are so many things which you can see over here, a lot of things you can see over here. Then what is there in the online advertising conceptual model? We have this advertisement tags over here. So what are those tags? For example, those tags can be free. This is this attracts a lot of traffic. It could be win also. Then you have these online users, their interests of users. Some are in surfing. Okay. Some are in other interests. Then you have online user advertisements and the advertisement themselves. So uh, you see they are linked together pretty much. All right. Now let's look at airline ticketing. So airline reservations, what we have over here is that it incorporates the airline schedules the fares, the tariff, and there are other things also. So let's go into more detail about the airline reservation. These systems incorporate the schedules, fare, tariffs, passenger reservations, and ticket records. All of things are there, as well as pushing out this information to global distribution systems. Global distribution systems, okay? The second type of direct distribution channel are consumers. We have consumers over here and those consumers, they make their own reservations. Travel agencies and other indirect distribution channels access the same. There are travel agencies, indirect access, and these are the consumers. Consumers Reservation systems may host ticketless airlines and hybrid airlines also. Ticketless hybrid airlines that use e-ticketing in addition to ticketless to accommodate code shares and interlines. In addition to the standardized GDS, some airlines have proprietary versions which they use to run their flight operations. For example, Delta's OSS, Delta OSS, and so on. And if you look at their schema, you can see we have these reservations over here. These are the legs, which are the links. 
okay and we have the passengers payments so itinerary legs over here flight schedules so flight costs so everything is linked together everything is present over here this is the point over here so this is the conceptual model of airline reservation system and this is all i have for this module thank you for your time